Hi. Hello. Oh, hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you. And thanks everyone else for joining as well. I see three four people with us already. It's a good sign. Someone is saying that I'm watching this while I'm procrastinating. Well, I think this is the perfect video then. <laughs> perfect live. Stay on and procrastinate to leave this video as well. <laughs> Okay. Should we give it a minute before we start or should we we'll wait for a couple more minutes. Okay. Shivani give me one second I'm going to close my door so that there's less noise. Yeah. No problem. Okay, so, so let's start then, Prachi. Um, so hi everyone. We're back with another live, and this is a Q and A one. I'm Shivani, and I have Prachi with me. She's a counseling psychologist, and today she's going to talk about procrastination. and everything related to it so i mean i myself would love to know a lot more about it in depth as well so thank you prachi for being here um so i think let's start and, and i would just you know get right into it and want to know uh what is procrastination thank you shivani all right so basically procrastination comes from the latin word procrastinus which literally means for tomorrow so procrastination is the act of delaying tasks until their you know until the last minute or you know past your deadline it is also known as a form of self regulation because you know a lot of times people think that procrastination happens because either you're demotivated or you know you have a time management problem but it's actually um where you can't regulate your emotions you know a lot of times when we do something it brings about tons of emotions it could be frustration anxiety self doubt insecurity and these are the things i mean these are big emotions right and as you know we are always taught to you know um not focus on these big emotions so as adults i think we end up procrastinating a lot more and um you know it can be really difficult to manage these emotions so instead of thinking you know that okay let me prioritize or you know let me just take a quick break we end up uh, you know not focusing on these tasks so procrastination basically is not doing the work until the last minute to simply put that that's what procrastination is makes much more sense now you know uh to everything related to it <laughs> personally so then what exactly you know causes this what's the reason behind uh, you know people procrastinating thing all right so to answer this i think it's best that you imagine yourself into two selves okay present self and the future self so our brain really recognizes long term rewards right for example let's say that you know you plan um to learn how to cook or learn a new language or you want to lose weight all of these things right you're imagining you're envisioning your future self you're envisioning your life but then again our brain is also hardwired to understand instant gratification right so if you've ever noticed between the task if you're getting bored and if it's taking a lot of time we end up going to our phones right we end up scrolling that's immediate gratification so while you want to make decisions and you know you go to bed all motivated that tomorrow i'm going to wake up and you know i'm going to change my life but then remember you're planning for your future self but your actions is going to be uh, about your personal present self right your present self will take the action for future self so it's always nice to remember that your present self will always look for instant gratification while your future self is going to focus on the long term reward so it's really a tug of war between your present self and the future self then apart from this um as i mentioned earlier you know motivation laziness time management is not really a uh, reason 
for procrastination what really is that emotional exhaustion you know a uh, perfectionist attitude um sometimes your tasks don't align with your goals your hopes your values your ideals then there's fear of failure fear of criticism um fear of judgment um sometimes we lack discipline we ignore the value of time and there's decision fatigue so these are the few reasons why we end up procrastinating a lot okay uh, so it's very complex you know now that we've established like it's a very very you know like a niche topic like uh do you think there's like types of you know procrastinators uh and if you could you know, shed some light on that all right so i'm going to tell you about six types of procrastinators and everyone watching they can comment below what type do they uh, resonate with and you can also tell us shivani right which one you resonate with so number one is the perfectionist of course very self explanatory this is somebody who wants things to be perfect right they're overwhelmed by expectations they feel that there's always room for improvement and they don't want to actually they end up procrastinating because they don't want to be judged by a substandard way of working right the number 2 is the dreamer now again this is somebody who thinks that everything should fall in their laps they don't have to work about anything um they underestimate how long a task can take they get bored very easily due to you know less flavor in life so they will always look for you know some sort of stimulation they would want to change the roles um they would want to you know have um exciting tasks right apart from that they also lack a lot of clarity in planning then there's the warrior this is somebody who's driven by fear like they worry they worry till the last moment until and unless they realize that oh timeline is going by and my deadline is here they will not start working they also seek a lot of safety in procrastination and again worry warrior right they have a lot of worry so worry is again a very big emotion for some people to deal with so they are driven by fear um they also have certain traits of you know an imposter they would feel like they are a fraud and you know very easily they can get caught at any time because they don't value their own potential they don't value their own capabilities the instant thought that comes through their mind is that i will be caught at any given time because i am not doing something special anyone can do this right then is the overdoer this is somebody who overcommits a lot right um they might have certain people pleasing tendencies right they might want to be seen at work so they will take everyone else's task upon their plates and of course when you have a lot of uh, things on your plate you end up not doing anything so you might be someone if you're the overdoer you might have difficulty in prioritizing your task difficulty in saying no to things and also you end up taking a lot on your plate then comes the rebel this is someone who doesn't like to be told what to do right if you tell them they will definitely not do it even it comes to an extent that um they don't even listen to themselves right if their inner voice is telling them to do work they will not do it um they think that the tasks that are assigned to them are unnecessary and it's a waste of their time they don't want to do it so they prefer maintaining a lot more control over the situation they would you know end up doing tasks in their own way but again procrastination is a huge huge problem right because again you know when you're in an office you will obviously have a team to work with you will obviously have a boss to report to so yeah they retain a sense of individuality by being rebellious and the last one is the crisis maker this is someone who thinks that they work better under pressure right so they will leave things to the last minute you will always find them panicking around you know rushing through the tasks and of course because of this um it leads to poor time management and substandard work so there's the perfectionist there's the dreamer there's the warrior overdoer and the rebel and the crisis maker which one shivani do you think you resonate with i don't know this is so difficult prachi because i feel like i resonate with all of them <laughs> depending on my mood uh but i don't know okay if i had to like i think pick like uh one of it that i resonate with the most i don't know it might be the you know the first one the perfectionist, perfectionist. one it's like yeah i mean you know 
feeling like okay no i can't like start now cuz now it's going to be so fun and like let's just leave it for another day like start tomorrow morning so that i get a full day to work on this specific thing so yeah i think i do definitely understand that you know mentality i think yeah so i think uh, then you know since now we've discussed the kinds of procrastinators i would really love to know like how someone can work upon you know being a little less procrastinating are there you know strategies pertaining to each of these categories that people can work on or work towards you know to just help themselves deal with tasks you know on, on a regular basis all right okay so first things first i think um, ground yourself right you know shivani this is my favorite thing to do right just <laughs> ground yourself before you start working so that you get an understanding of what emotions do you have right you can do a quick mood check in like how are you feeling in that moment then the second thing is of course maintaining a routine i think routine has always been a part of our lives right since uh we were kids i remember we had schools for like good um, it would start 7 am in the morning we would come back home by 3 pm then we had tuition then we had the play time then we had the bed time so i think routine really keeps us you know in check yes routine can get very monotonous but this is something that people also don't um, you know follow routine because they think as soon as they start it will get you know very boring but i think if you don't have a routine you will certainly lack a lot of discipline in your life right and you will always find yourself on autopilot and when we are on autopilot we end up multitasking and when you multitask you're not really focusing on any sort of work so have a routine you know get up in the morning probably have a morning ritual maybe have a glass of water you know deep breathe a little bit go out for a walk come back make a to do list and um start your work right have your meals on time understand that which part of the day you're most energetic because you know there are some people who are all happy in the morning they rise and shine right and some people are night owls so understand where your energy really moves around and possibly you know maximize that time during the day if you have a really difficult task match it with your energy if you're someone who likes to you know get up with the sun and sleep with the sun maintain your routine like that right and then of course have a lot of breaks throughout the day so that you don't feel overwhelmed or you don't feel burnt out so routine is a must this is also something that brings in a lot of value about time right because all of us have very limited time it's just 24 hours so to divide your day you know um as per 24 hours like okay let's say 2 hours would go in you know getting up getting ready dressing up and then let's say 3 hours maybe you know breakfast lunch dinner one one hour each then um we need sleep for 8 hours right so major chunk should be divided and yes of course um by this you can also a lot time for your social media for your mails you know for being on gadget playing on video games so having a routine that a lot time to everything in your task is a must so start with a routine then something uh, there's called temptation bundling right this is where you make the rewards of taking an action more immediate so you know we started with the future self and the present self right while future self um, is not going to really motivate us in um, getting the task done so what you can do is find a behavior find a behavior that you really like to do on a daily basis and pair it with something that you don't like so for example you can what you can do is only watch your favorite show while doing household chores right or only eat at your favorite restaurant when you have a meeting with a difficult client right so this way you're also rewarding your behavior of procrastination right it is going to reduce it for yourself so the basic formula is only do something you love while doing something you procrastinate so this is called temptation bundling the next thing is um my favorite called pomodoro technique um this is something that i regularly use and it has helped me a lot so pomodoro basically um if i'm not wrong it comes from uh, it it it's it's spanish or latin word for tomato and i think back in time when you know we did not have those uh, microwaves with the timer we the the ladies back then they had a small timer in a tomato shape which had 25 minutes on it so that's where it comes from the whole idea is that, that step 1 identify your task what do you want to do right then second uh, th- step is to set an alarm for 25 minutes in your phone as soon as the alarm starts you start working 
right as soon as the 25 minutes are over take a short break of 5 to 10 minutes and you know you do this four times so 25 minutes a break 25 minutes a break 25 minutes and a break only after the fourth pomodoro you are allowed to take a long break which is good 20 to 30 minutes right you can practice pomodoro um, you know as much as you want and i think personally it really works for me because um See, everyone has a saturation point, right? I think I can't sit beyond sixty minutes for something. What about you, Shivani? What's your saturation point? At a time? Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's way less than that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> say it out loud. But no, I think for me, uh, I can't do an hour straight. Uh, I would. Be, it would be around forty to forty-five minutes for me, and then you know, just like walk around, take quick mm-hmm. round, and mm-hmm. then come back. You know. something like that right perfect perfect right so if anyone who hits their saturation point very early 25 minutes is going to keep them excited and it will always you know it would bring them with back with curiosity that oh i left my work in the middle abruptly i have to get back right so 25 minutes work beautifully now this is something that i have to warn um, all the work of alix they say that no 25 minutes doesn't work for us yes because you sit for more than 25 minutes it's not going to work right so strictly put an alarm follow the clock and do the pomodoro then next one is um, add visual cues it's always nice to have reminders and this is something i think phones right it works brilliantly set an alarm you know um of how much work you want to do on a particular task um if there as if there's an event coming up if there's a meeting coming up you know all these things use your phone if you're somebody who wants to be away from your phone get small nice colorful post its right so write your tasks and stick it around another thing what you can do is have a vision board right you can write your vision on it make it creative make it more colorful so that and keep it in front of you so that every time you're sitting and you're on your study table you can you know read it right then next one is um partner up with someone so for example let's say shivani you and i are working from home and you know um we live in the same society right we can figure out a cafe we can you know go to a co-working space we can work together this way you and i will keep each other accountable of the work right then next one is design your future actions so this is something um, that a lot of psychologists use this is um, where they make use of commitment devices so this is a tool to overcome procrastination where you design your future actions beforehand so simply to simply put if you want to spend less time on social media you delete social media applications right if you want to play less games you delete all those applications right and then of course you can set a lock right i think there are a lot of applications and i think there's one tool that comes where you can um, it's a box with a timer where you can put your phone in set an alarm and it's not going to open till that alarm rings so that is something that people can use and um lastly would be priority list this is something that i again i use this a lot so let me show you i think i have it in front of me i am just going to show it to you okay one second all right so if you can see my screen right this is the priority list step 1 is to list all of the tasks that you need to do for a day then you can break them into three groups h is for high priority m is medium priority l is for low priority so high priority tasks are something that you need to do it today as if your life depends on it you cannot go ahead medium priority needs to be done but not immediately and low priority is something that is not very important and you can take it you know to the next day so when people say that i don't know what to put on my to do list put every right there could be tons and tons of tasks if you have 15 things on your mind ideally put everything on paper so that you are not confused then divide them into high priority medium priority low priority and then the whole idea is that get on with it because honestly um you have to take an action right we um cannot always depend on deadlines and you know some people say that i like you know mere sab pe jab koi danda hai somebody is you know keeping me accountable i think that's where you also start losing a lot more self you know you're not self motivated so to do list is one thing that really really helps and um yeah basically these are the things um so it's pomodoro it's temptation bundling it's making your priority list 
it is um adding visual cues and designing your future action so these are the few things that if people try i think it will work brilliantly and if still they feel there's a problem i think it's always nice to go and you know um take therapy for this right sometimes we don't realize what is the emotion beneath that you know we are um going from or you know we are not able to identify what's really happening so it's nice to go have a chat you know with a professional understand why you're doing it and if if it has become a habit since a very long time so i have to tell you it only takes 21 days to build a habit but it takes 3 months to break a habit so i think it's it's, it's very useful um to you know figure out what habits do you want to make makes a lot of sense now you know the strategies and like how you can just you know gather them and like just use them in your everyday life i think and you broke it down so simply i think for even the viewers i'm sure like they'll find it very insightful and you know very useful in their daily lives as well uh so i think that's all that we had to discuss on this topic uh obviously there's so much more that we can discuss but for today i think that would be it and i think i would like to open you know uh the floor to questions from the viewers if you guys have anything on your mind if there's already comments like i'll try and check mine before i join prachi if you see any questions if you can have a look i don't see any questions so if anyone watching has any questions about procrastination you know what they might be if you, you if you're you know confused about what kind of procrastinator you might be and what kind of strategy would help you best you can just like you know comment on the page comment on our you know right here prachi is here to answer your questions and if not obviously after you know we post this you can definitely comment again as well and one thing shivani i think i'd like to suggest that you know um if it is hard for anyone watching this to identify what emotion you are feeling there's an emotion wheel that's very accessible on google right so download it for yourself and pinpoint what emotion you know you feel um when you're about to do a task so that will also help in understanding you know um do you really have to believe in that emotion i mean sometimes we take emotions as facts right we think that oh it's the reality but honestly yes emotions are valid your feelings are valid but it's not always healthy to believe in them and you know let your emotions guide you throughout the day yeah so we do have a question do you want to take that prachi yes so pomodoro break feels like oh the first pomodoro break feels like breaking momentum how do you okay so this uh, all right um i would like to suggest that when you're taking a break after your first pomodoro try not to use your phone or any gadgets as a break right because again um when you're on your phone and you're scrolling through social media or you know you're doing anything which is related to gadgets it will instantly release your dopamine right that is instant gratification cheap dopamine so i would suggest don't go on your phones um phone is a no no what you can do is um you know take a walk around the house maybe go um you know take some fresh air have a glass of water something that is going to keep you in your headspace so this is something that, that you can try but i would like to know from you that what do you usually do when you take your first break Or what would you like to do if you haven't done that before? What? I want. Okay, so Vinayak, right? Vinayak asked this question. Vinayak, I want to ask you, what do you usually do in your Pomodoro breaks? and we're waiting for that anyone else wanting to ask questions we're still here sit still and my dad did yes. all Just. right i would say move around you know um maybe um pat yourself right tap yourself everywhere to get that energy it's okay i think if it this is not working for you vinaya try taking a walk around right the whole idea is to you know change your mindset a little bit 
see understand that our brain was never hardwired to sit for longer hours so when people come and they say that you know i work for 8 hours a day or i can sit for 8 hours at a stretch it it's not possible because our brain has to take care of you know the rest of the body as well there's respiration happening there's pumping of blood happening if you got hurt you know your brain is again fixing that wound so there's a lot of things happening if you tell your brain that hey let's do this for 8 hours your brain is not going to do it so maybe what you can do is when i it see if you're getting bored right if you're getting bored if you're feeling bored just get up pat yourself everywhere you know maybe splash some cold water on your face have a glass of water and then come back and you can what you can do is reduce the timing of your break right if you're extending uh, more than 10 minutes you will not feel like coming back and um what you can also do is start believing your actions right a lot of times we believe our mind that okay your mind is going to tell you that no i don't want to do this it's boring yes your mind is meant to distract you what you have to believe is the action that you keep putting in time and again time and again it will be very very boring but this is where also consistency comes from and i think it's always nice to remember that if something is making you comfortable your growth is going to be hampered so be more you know uncomfortable seek discomfort and yeah i think this should help try it out let us know well i hope that helped you anyone else having questions you can either you know still comment or just let, let us know later on so i think that's about it for today prachi you don't see any more questions anything you would like to add before we you know take them i think um i would really i want people to focus on routine you know um we are running out of time and this is the youngest you are ever going to be so have a routine that is going to keep you you know in that mindset that yes i am here to achieve something and even if you know again there's no hard and fast rule right if you are able to pull in like 5 hours of work of course scatter those 5 hours throughout the day and next day you're able to do 8 hours it's absolutely fine right don't be so rigid that no i have to sit for 10 hours i have to sit for 8 hours and um keep yourself you know keep your hunger and your thirst in check a lot of times you will feel distracted if you are hungry you will definitely procrastinate if you are hungry if you've not had a good sleep you will feel cranky and obviously that is going to hamper your work so maybe you know make sure that your physiology is in check before you go ahead and think about you know your emotions so again if your uh, if your brain is not helping you in working use your body if your body is not feeling up to the mark use your brain right that's that's my tip before we close that's a great tip thank you so much for that but i think someone else just commented again i think it's shivan with observing question mark so i'm not sure what they mean by that but i think that's yes. do they mean like shivan, that's maybe if their you, way of thinking can, yeah um if you maybe can tell us a little more observing what observing ourselves observing emotion observing your work definitely not <laughs> okay let me see if they're still here yes i think they're still watching so if you could collaborate for us please we'll be able to you know help you out a bit more how do you mean you're observing us <laughs> what is like i don't know why there would be a question mark on okay. here observing the difference when mind is not stably working all right okay so maybe you can check you know um what you're preoccupied with right see i think in a day we have average 6000 thoughts so maybe you know start writing your feelings down start writing your thoughts down on a piece of paper so that you understand what is really happening and um observing the difference in mind is not stable okay so i mean i'm assuming 
think that you would want to make your mind more efficient and more stable what you can do is um ground yourself right if you don't know how to ground yourself it's simply changing the temperature um of your body right that's also called as tipping so immediately you know check if you know you're having hot flushes if you're sweating or if you know you're feeling cold so instantly change the temperature of your body bring it to you you know the room temperature how you can do that again deep breathing a lot right then cold showers helps uh, help a lot then splashing your face with cold water having water right so anything that is going to bring you back to your equilibrium will help you in focusing more and if that doesn't happen choose as i said choose to believe your action our mind is very monkey like it is always going to distract you and if you are somebody who does not have the habit of overthinking and you don't have anxiety issues you can probably try meditating you know before getting into work set an alarm for 10 minutes right sit on the floor don't do this on the bed because if you do you will fall asleep so sit with your spine a little erect comfortably close your eyes and focus on your breath right basically the small little triangle how you feel your breath on you know going in uh, uh, inside your body and outside so while you meditate um both inhalation and exhalation should be done from your nose just bring your you know um focus back to your tip of your nose your mind will distract you it will make you think about what happened in the past or you know what is going to happen next bring it back to your breath so meditation um grounding and of course having a thought log just having an idea what what's going in my mind all of this doesn't work please come speak to us we are have therapists at care me you can obviously come and you know discuss this further yes definitely do that and i think uh, that's all the time we had for today's live um any other you know observations questions or comments you guys have please we do post it every time we do a live you can just drop a comment there as well and we will be you know responding to that and uh, yeah definitely like prachi said definitely just come to us speak with us you know text us uh we have some great coaches great therapists to help you out if you have no idea you know where to go our coaches will direct you with the right kind of guidance and support and then they will you know guide you through the next step of what you need to do right so definitely just don't don't think you know just like help yourselves guys it's very easy once you take that first step all right it's so i think um oh yes great shivam keep working on it and we're always here to help you and everyone else as well thanks all for joining thank you prachi we'll see you again next yes, week thank you thank you shivani all right bye bye, bye everyone